Hello everyone and welcome back for more Okami! And hold on, let me see something here before we start the video. Um, well... Oh well, I have enough ink. Wow, I have enough actually for ink. So I think actually I'm going to start this video with... Upgrading our ink! Hooray! Awesome! Now we have eight ink pods. It was a good thing I checked there. But anyways, in the last video, we started off the moon cave and we accepted this quest of finding these ingredients for Orochi's dish of death and whatever. So we still need to find the other three ingredients. And we're going to continue by going up this way. There's a flower so you can get back up there if you wanted to. This is where I uh, ended off the last video. So yeah, that's a really easy way to get back up here. The moon cave really isn't all that hard. It's a pretty small area, really. And oh, of course it's... Oh, of course it wasn't in the water. Hold here, can I get in the water and do it? Um, hello? There we go. Sometimes it doesn't do it for some reason. It's really weird. Alright, next little area is over here. We got ourselves a nice little bridge. Let's cross it. Uh, it doesn't seem like we can do anything over there, so uh, let's just head back. Uh-oh. Oh, the bridges! And we broke the bridge. So, yay. And uh, I'm actually doing this part right now, uh, up until about this point, for the second time, because the last time I was recording this, for some reason, my Wii battery decides to die. So I went and just replaced it because it was working perfectly fine. It even said that it had full battery, but for some reason it was just acting up. So, oh geez, I better take out this guy. Take out this guy, take out this guy, take out this guy, take out this guy. Oh, damn! Yeah, I didn't realize that I thought- I didn't know that there was a black imp right there. That's kind of dangerous. So make sure in the moon game, and especially later on in this area, if there is a, uh- Oh, did I- Oh, I just messed up on getting three demon figs. Four demon figs, too. Damn. Well, that kind of sucks. But make sure that whenever you're fighting in the moon cave, make sure that if there's a black imp, take out its skulls first. Because if it doesn't, it's going to unleash some damage that will make you cry. And we get plus 30 praise. Wow, we really haven't gotten a lot of praise in the jeez. Now that we're in this uh, lower area, we're going to need a good way to get back up. And water spout time. It's another one of these little bamboo thingies, which I don't know the name of. And for some reason, doing this... Oh, never mind. Well, that opens that up, and then this floods the entire area. Now, where is this water coming from? It's coming from over here. We're in the... That's the bottom area of the central plaza, so that's really awesome. We'll be able to get in there. And it looks like that there's still water in there. What the hell? Now, Kami, move faster. Something I really just don't like about this game is that sometimes, like, when Matarasu is stopped and you try to move her, she'll walk, like, at a snail's pace. And that always pisses me off. Why is there a walking speed that slow? Like, like, like if I'm pushing fully forward on the analog stick, it should not be going that slow. I can understand maybe having a speed that slow if I was, like, fighting. Oh, 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 what, oh, what the hell? I ran into the skulls and I got lost gone there. That sucks. Uh, I can understand, like, if I was just inching it on it, so if I had to, like, sneak up on something, but no, I'm pushing it all the way, and that's the speed I go. Not until you shake the Wii Remote do you go faster, which is kind of BS. But anyways, we get more, uh, Demon Fangs, we get three, hooray! Uh, something actually to mention is that there's a bell in the central room. We're not supposed to do anything with that bell just yet, but... If you go ahead and ring it, every time you ring it, it will spawn a black imp for you to fight. So if you really are in need of demon fangs, that is a great way to get demon fangs. I'm unfortunately not going to do this just because I really don't feel like I need to because I'm pretty confident by the, by the time we're going to need to sell our demon fangs, we'll be able to do so. Alright, so we have our way back up. Now we're in the central room again. Now we're going to take the elevator down. Down, down, down. Right. I've been watching Spongebob. I, I have like all these Spongebob DVDs. I actually have the first complete three seasons. It was a joke gift by a friend. Uh, so uh, yeah, he gave me them, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, it's great because, you know, I don't really want to watch any of the new Spongebob. To be honest, I really don't like a lot of the new Spongebob. There are a few that I do like. 
Um, one being Ghost Host, mainly because it has that one trippy ass scene with the Flying Dutchman. Like, honestly, that was it a children's show? I mean, my god, I know I was raised in the 90s where we had like Courage and Red and Stimmy, but still, that just seems so extreme. Anyways, he's gonna take us all the way down here to keep power slashing him like I was doing. This guy says that he's got in the door and he just loves his job and makes it worth living. <laughs> Great for you. Um, let's destroy your fire. No, we don't get. I usually you get something from doing that. I guess not. Last time I did that, I got some yen, but apparently not. And now he says that he has an awesome secret to guarding his treasure, and that no one will be able to figure out. It's basically hitting all four of those eye statues at once. But before we do that, we got another challenge. Oh, perfect! Right there, there's a blue imp, and finally I can give the information on what they're weak to, because we finally have what to what they're weak to. So yes, unlike all the other de all the other imps, uh, blue imp is the one that is weak to Gale Storm. If you have Gale Storm, blow it. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound really suggestive at all. I'm gonna take care of these guys. Wait, dude, hit the. God, how dumb are you? Oh, oh, did I mess up? Yeah, I did. Okay, so anyways, now we can just fight this demon, uh, this blue imp. So yeah, Bloom is the only imp that does not use um, Power Slash as full finisher, but instead Gale Storm. And it's also weak to Gale Storm. And that yields you one demon thing. Uh, yeah, pretty much every, like, arc family has, like, the one member that is weak to what everyone else is weak to. Uh, imps, of course, being the Eastern Epoan arcs uh, demon family. Alright, so now we gotta Power Slash all of these eye statues at once while their eyes are open. And this is kind of hard to do. Um, it almost seems like it's just a Sisyphean task, but, uh, it, it's, it can be done, right? It's just, you kind of have to edge it to where all of them are lined up, and it, the really great way to do this is have them at the top of the screen. And, uh, oh, I got the first hit. I think I'm a little bit too low. Come on. Let me, uh, yep. Well, you could actually maybe try doing a straight line, because apparently I didn't pass kindergarten, because I don't know how to color into the lines. Oh, jeez, I made an elephant. That's really nice. But, the, but I colored it orange, and it's going over the line. That's not really going to help me. And therefore, my father didn't put it on the refrigerator, and therefore, I will never be a successful artist. Anyways, over here, we have a statue of ice. And uh, I'm just going to do this really quick, because I haven't shown it off yet, and this is not the right menu. But I think I want to put on the like beats just for a little bit, because I haven't shown it off yet, and I'm just going to put the Infinity Judge as a sub-weapon for now. Just to tell you, I'm pretty much going to use the Infinity Judge for a while, because it's really good. I'm going to just chill in here. I mean, this is ordinary chill. I got a creepy feeling. I bet there are monsters nearby. Be careful. And we have a new enemy! And a new family, thank God! These are the Lips of Ice. And yes, they are ingredients that we need. How awesome is that? But of course we can't get it here. That wouldn't make any sense. Now, Lips of Ice. They are... Now, if you have your uh, Infinity Judge as a sub-weapon, your counterattack, they are super weak too. But otherwise, you just normally have to wait until the, they're not ice anymore and get out of the way. And I absolutely hate these enemies. Because, you know, I don't really do good until I have their weakness. We can't get their weakness until after this fight. Also, Power Slash, they're really super weak, too. So, we should know that. What are you... I did great on time and damn... Do you know it's a green... It's a green happy tree, I'll accept it. It's better than a not bloom tree at all. And that melts this statue. How awesome. And it's on fire! That's even cooler! This phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it can, might take off at any moment. Well, well, well. Look what we got. Another brush technique. And I wonder what it could be. I love this music that plays when you're drawing on the stars, too. Both the, the flute and uh, the song when you pot your brush. Okay, let's not fail this. I said, let's not fail this. Okay, th the one in the center and the one at the top, I should have gotten. But that's BS game. Anyways, we have probably one of my favorite gods here. This god is effing awesome. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Sealed away by dark forces. I have spent years in this cave. Sealed by the dark forces, sorry. Time passed, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. But now, your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Moigami, god of flames, lend you my fiery power. Burn a new source of light into the obscuring darkness. Moigami! Which, um... I just think it's probably one of the coolest looking gods. And we get now the power of fire. Wow, never expected to find a brush god here. We got a powerful ally just when we needed it. Mogami is the most fearsome of all the brush gods. Its technique known as Inferno reduces almost anything to ashes. Hmm, what should we do our first victim? Okay, so anyways, the power Inferno, it works just like Water Spout, except it's fire. So, with fire, we will now be able to burn our enemies, we'll be able to melt ice, a lot of things. And there we go. So anytime you see ice and there's fire nearby, you can instantly melt it with Inferno. Alright, awesome. And funny you said about, like, uh, making the snake crisp, because not a lot of spoilers, but we will be using Inferno against the fight against Orochi. So, not spoiling much, I think you guys kind of saw it. But anyways, there is a conductor here, but hold on. There's a flame right here, and some ice, and we'll be able to melt that. It's not a sun fragment or tribute or anything, but I'm pretty sure this is an infinity stone, if I'm not mistaken. Which is still useful. Well, looks like I was right! An infinity stone! I am so smart in such a minute. Ooh, yen. Yen! So, yes, now we have the power of fire. And I will, I'm saying this again, you get a lot of the brush god techniques really early in the game. But don't worry, they're upgrades, so that's how they kind of justify it. Anyways, this guy is now going to take us up, and this takes a really long time, so I think I'm just going to cut out him going up because it takes a while. Okay, now we're up at the top after like two minutes of going up. I mean, geez. We are led here to where this is the kitchen, but it's behind the ice. And we have a Devil's Gate, Demon's Gate, whatever you want to call it back here. So let's fight it. And we have two lips of ice. But guess what? We have fire right here. Use fire on it, it will make it really weak. Look at that. Half off already. Half off. Come on, come on. Yeah. I hate you. I hate you, circly thingy that destroys my power. Ah! Get out of the way, get out of the way. Kill it! Oh, I think I actually did kill it. Oh. I hate these things! You know what? I'm just gonna kill you. I don't even care if I don't get the full finisher. There we go. Yeah, the full finisher is Inferno. I really don't have the patience to tackle them. Because I'm using freaking Clara Beads. To be honest, Rosaries are my second favorite weapon to use, but I like Reflectors. Reflectors are my favorite, and the, there's a third type of weapon that we'll be getting later on, and I don't really like it that much. And here's a little of ice! So now we have the second item, which we have in the kitchen. They could have just freaking melted this ice. But now since we do that, we can now have a really nice shortcut back to the kitchen. Uh, by the way, you can drop off these items once at a time, but I just prefer to drop them off all at the end because it's just easier. You can do that if you want, but there's really no, you know, benefit from that. It's not like they take up space, so, yeah. Now, uh, well, let's see. What else do we want to do? Oh, yeah, by the way, over here, every time you get a new, uh, get a recipe... Uh, one of these little digging spots will open up to you. So this one, uh, the first one contained that fire that allowed us to get back up to that first area. And that one contains a clover, which contains a whopping 30 praise. Jeez, spoil us, why don't you gain? Uh, and the other ones will contain something else later on. I know one of them contains a golden peach. I'm not really spoiling that. I'm, I'm, to be honest, they give you way too many golden peaches in this game. Uh, you can level up your astral pouch up to, to getting four different astral pouches. So you can get up to four golden peaches. But I mean, so, I mean, I just really don't find it that much really that worth wild. I mean, how many times have I died in this game? Like, I've gone through this game before easily without ever dying. And right here, we can finally uh, do something about that ice, but we need to get uh, the bridge fixed. So we're going to use Rejuvenation. Because you guys never think that we're going to use that again, huh? 
melt the ice here, and now we're finally granted access into here, and look, it's another gate for us to fight enemies in, and we have another new enemy! This dungeon just gives us so much. We have the Cousin of the Lips of Ice. These are called Fire Eyes. Uh, Fire Eyes, and which is really cool because usually they're paired with Lips of Ice. So it's really stupid because they give us the weakness to Lips of Ice right then and there. So if you want, you can just drag the fire to the Lips of Ice and instantly hurt them. How awesome is that? Oh, oh, no, 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 hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. There we go. I know, I could have gotten the floral finisher, but I won't. Now, the weakness to the Fire Eyes is uh, Gale Storm. Uh, I think also Water Spell works well, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. We're just going to keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it. Let's use Gale again so I don't, like, get burned by fire. How much you want a bad man to get burned by fire? Okay, no, good. Okay, uh, get up. Win. Takes away its win. Whoa! Oh, dang, I still got... Oh, 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 let's get, let's get, let's get. Yeah! Ooh, they gave you two. Holy crap. I know they gave you two. Okay, well, now you know. Those of I'm pretty sure they only give you one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure because I've never really gotten the weakness for it. Yeah. Anyways, with that, we get the Eyeball Fire, another ingredient. How awesome. Yeah, all the ingredients you get from fighting enemies. So we got... Uh, the Ogre Liver from a Bud Ogre, the Lips of Ice from the Lips of Ice, and Eyeball of Fire from the Fire Eyes. We still need the Black Demon Horn. Hmm, I wonder what we have to fight for that. Okay, now I thought I had to leave there because I thought there was nothing in here for us yet, but there's actually the key in that room we unlocked. Now, I know there's also chests that are under ice. Now, you can get two of them right now by tricking it out, but I'm not going to try it anyways because I kind of had trouble doing it. Yeah, I know, I'm a pansy. But uh, you want to make sure to come back to that room once you've lit all the torches. There's going to be something later on that will, in this dungeon, that will light all the torches in this dungeon. Make sure you come back to that room, because there's a very, very good item in there that you will want to get. And it will help you immensely on the boss fight. In fact, I almost 100% recommend that you use this if you are first time playing this game. Anyways, now we have access to this room where there's a lot of falling sand and fish. Um, yeah, I don't know why there's sand falling, but okay. Up here, there's a clover. Let's get it. And in this room is a puzzle that pisses me off. And I'm pretty sure it pisses off a lot of people. Because, yes, I really do not like, you know, you know, pushing these balls. There's another ball pushing uh, puzzle in this area, but it's not really all that bad. In fact, I like it a lot more. But this one just sucks. So we got this stone ball right here that we're going to have to push all the way to the other side of this area. And this thing is a pain to work with. Because you got quicksand in here. You got pit piles of sand. You've got just everything. It just makes this infinitely hard to deal with. Sandwich which going to be pushing. Pushing the ball. Pushing the ball. It takes a long time because you have to keep charging it. It's not like the other ball where you can just kind of nudge it along. It'll go. Oops. And uh, we're going to slash this thing. And it makes the wind blow, revealing there's a path that we can use. It is an invisible path, but it becomes revealed to us when we blow wind. Uh, so, if you want to... Okay, I don't know where that yet that yen came from, but okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to blow wind so the path can be revealed to us. And I'm going to try to push this ball, but I'm kind of... Damn it! Freaking... Okay, I think I'm good there. Nope, I'm not! Crap. Oh, well, did it... Oh, okay, cool! So it dropped right here, if you've made this far. Awesome. Uh, now, you don't have to blow the wind for it to be walk on. Like, if there's no wind, you can walk on it, so don't worry about that. Are you effing kidding me? Uh, this is gonna be hard, isn't it? Alright, third time is the effing charm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... I know it's fine, but I just like to see where it is because there's a hole right there, and I want to make sure that I'm not pushing into that hole. Because I didn't really like, oh, I know where the path is. They just push it straight, and for some reason, it still falls into the hole. Oh, crap. Don't go over. Don't go over. Don't go over. Ah! This is so weird. And, like, the first time I played it, I didn't know that you could walk on it with when there was no sand blowing, and it kind of tripped me out. There's a clover over there, but I'm F that. Uh, now we need to push it over there, and that's where it ends. So we did this pretty good. Oh, right, come on. 
Is it? Oh, whoa, it went over. I thought that was gonna stop it for sure, but okay. Oh, oh uh, dude, don't tell me that I can't. Wait, why don't I just, can I just like hit it from the side maybe? Okay, there we go. And finally we made it. So there we go. This puzzle's finally done. Thank God, I thought I was gonna spend like an hour on this. I thought something like stupid was gonna happen and I'd have to like, you know, you know, redo it. All right, and there we go. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude, get it back over. Get it back. Oh, whoa. It went through this. Dude, it went through that. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Okay, there we go. Now, if you're wondering, no, it didn't get infinitely caught on that pedestal. I just had to give it another big push and it uh, got out. But I had to, like, take, like, 50 minutes getting back, back into the damn thing. But anyways, we got the map of the moon cave really late. And we also lit all the torches now in the moon cave. So, we should head back to that one room. Anyways, up here is where you can continue going, but of course I'm not going to do that. There's also um, um, a merchant that you can uh, buy stuff from if you really need to. There's also a chest right here that contains intense burner. Awesome. So I think I'm just going to talk to this guy and just sell some of my treasures. And I'm going to go uh, back and get that thing that we need to get. Okay, I will see you guys then. Okay, I sold all my stuff, and uh, that's the area where we're going to keep going. So, let's head back to the room. And I actually decided, like, during the whole thing, I was going to be like, you know, I don't know if you guys know how to get back there that way, so I'm just going to show you the way to get back anyways, because I figured, you know, you guys might get lost. So, you know, this area isn't really that, you know, easy to remember. Oh, 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 we got a treasure in anyways. What's in here? And we got Kutani Pottery. Awesome. That wasn't really worth it, but okay. Anyways, we're just going to head back to that room. This is going to take like a second to do. Uh, get... Come on. All right, there we go. Awesome. I'm like, uh, get in there. Okay, now we're up on top. Dash over. It's really easy to get back to this area, but I've had, you know, friends that have sworn that this area is hell. That's infinitely hard to get through. But see, we're all the way back here. Easy as that, right? Right. So now this torch is lit, and we get three treasures in here. One of them is a bullhorn, I remember that. Or something involving... I forgot what it's called, like, bullhorn, something like that. I think it's this one, actually. Oh, no, okay, this is the other one, which is a steel fist socket, which is nice. I never really use these. I should, probably. The other one's going to be the bullhorn, and the other one's going to be the really good item. And after we get that item, I think I'm going to end off the video. Bullhorn, yep, there we go. And the last item that we need to get, and you want this item, screw the other two items, this is the one you want. Exorcism Slip L. Yeah. So anyways, I'll explain how great that is in the next video. So next time on Okami, we will continue to the moon cave and get the only remaining ingredient that we need to get yet. Uh, next. We're almost done with this dungeon, too. So I will see you guys next time. Moagami's name comes from the word Moeru, which means to burn. He is based off the mythological phoenix, a bird born of flames, who, if dies, will come back being rebirthed by flames. He is also based off the rooster in the Chinese zodiac, and in the story of the Great Race, he, along with the monkey and the goat, ride the raft across the river together. The rooster was given 10th place.